so what's going on guys make here with Joy Reviews and welcome back to another video so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to respray the heat shielding on the turbo right here because you know um, it's quite common for the heat shielding to actually get worn out because of the top cover dropping so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove it and give it a nice uh, coat of paint so I'll be painting it in fluorescent yellow I guess it will match the green color of the car but uh, anyways um, it's just going to be a trial and error thing Painting is not my forte but uh, we're going to try it out today So let's get right on and remove the heat shielding So today I got a little helper with me as well Say hello to the camera Hello Okay Coming back to the heat shielding We have two side stand behind And we have three T30s up front So we're going to try to remove that with this uh, wrench I have right here uh, not the most successful, the last time I used it, but I'm going to give it a shot anyways. Alright guys, so now that we have removed the heat shielding, you can see how the condition is. Needs some cleaning, that's for sure. On the inside, you can see it's super clean. So I'm going to be using some sandpaper to polish it down. And of course, a scouring pad and giving it a good wash before I do the sanding, of course. Alright, so let's get right to that. Right, guys so you can see i've actually prepped the surface sanded it down give it a good nice wash clean up and it looks really good now it looks really clean like a brushed finish to this so i'm going to be giving it a nice uh, dry wipe and then we will begin our spraying all right guys so now that we have dried and cleaned it up properly i'm going to be giving four layers of paint so we're going to be doing one light coat first and then followed by the second and third getting thicker and thicker so let's begin Alright guys, so this is the end result. So I did overspray some of the portions here, which is my bad, my mistake. Anyways, it did turn out pretty nice overall. Uh, it does have some greenish tint to it because of the bare aluminium at the bottom of the paint. But anyways, the top I did uh, like around like what six coats or seven coats of paint. Uh, slow drying process, but anyways, it did turn out pretty good on the top. So now we're going to be using the aid of a hairdryer to actually heat up and quickly dry all these extra spots right here, extra paint spots, and then we will get it installed back onto my car. Alright guys, so now that we have done heating up and mostly drying the paint, I'm going to let the engine do its work. So I'm going to be installing the heat shielding back where it came from and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the whole process Alright guys, so now that we've got it installed back into the car you can see the end result it looks pretty good of course it's not really matching the Viper green of the car but overall I think it stands out uh, compared to the original scratched up heat shield the paint job is definitely not the nicest that's for sure because painting is not really my strength I rarely ever paint anything uh, I did do some spray painting like back in the days like many years back but it has been a while so 
yeah, I did overspray some of the portions which I'm not proud about. But uh, overall, after respraying it on day two, giving it another five to six coats of paint, I think it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice, much better than the first attempt because I did give it a good sanding, give it a good wash to make sure there are no stains, no oil stains, and make sure the paint actually adheres to the surface. So, yeah, here you have it, me spraying my Sirocco heat shielding. Install process is basically just the same three screws on the front and then another two size 10 on the rear and then that, that's it. Of course some of you who have not modified the R8 coil you might have to remove the, the engine cover but mine has been removed because I am using R8 coils so I guess there's a benefit less stuff to remove. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and I'll see you guys in the next video.